What's up guys, Stas here. So we're going to do a quick midday SoFi stock update. It's currently about 1 p.m. on the East Coast and we have SoFi stock up a good 0.8%, not looking so bad, um, although now we are getting a bit of selling um, in real time. You guys can see on the intraday chart, we are dumping off a little bit. Either way, we are up now about 0.6%, up four cents on the day in the midst of an overall pretty flat day for the stock market. The S&P 500s at break even. Same with the Dow. The Nasdaq's down about 0.2%, but the Russell is looking pretty good, up 0.6%. So we're going to break down a bunch of charts, SoFi, maybe some other stocks later in the video. So hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe, guys. You might as well. And don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo, which you only have a couple of days to do that, guys. So make sure to do that. Link down below or by using the QR code right here or by going to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Either way, it all takes you to the same place, guys. So get your stocks, guys. And with that being said, cheers, let's dive into it. So again, it's about 1 p.m. right now on the East Coast. And before we actually pull up, or well, it's already pulled up, but before we talk about SoFi, let me show you the Russell quickly. I think this is very important to point out. The Russell is starting to break out. Look at this, guys. Again, we're up 0.6% in the midst of an overall red day, pretty much, for the other indexes, right? And we're taking out the recent highs. This is very important, guys. The Russell, just with today's move, took out the highs from a couple of weeks ago. And now we're clearly above the highs from, uh, you know, back in December, it looks like. So this triangle, do you guys remember this triangle that we covered a couple of videos ago, right? I'm not, I forget exactly what video it was. Either way, we covered this triangle and now this is clearly playing out. Bulls are you know, fully in charge on the Russell right now, guys. And if we pull up the one year chart, now you can see we're at a fresh high on this time frame. And on the three year chart, now we're essentially breaking out. Um, well, I guess we have to test this spot here, which we're at right now. Looks like back in the end of March of 2022, we kind of peaked out at about 2135 on the Russell. So if that spot's able to break, which mind you, 2135 was actually support for a good chunk of 2021 heading into 2022 a little bit. Um, so if that spot's able to break, guys, we have a wide open window here on the Russell all the way essentially to all-time highs, at least in my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments as always. But that's a quick little side tangent there on the Russell. Let me pull up SoFi here, which again is the focus of this video. Now we're up about half a percent, up around point, uh, let's see, yeah, now 0.4%. Uh, looks like about three cents in the green, but either way, SoFi, forget about what it's up on the day. Either way, we're building on the gains from yesterday. You guys can see the uptrend from yesterday is continuing, which is a really good sign that we'll, uh, you know, we'll get into right now. So first of all, SoFi took out the highs from yesterday, right? Yesterday we hit about, uh, let's see, $7.35. That was the high throughout the entire day. And mind you, look at this. We actually had a triangle heading into close yesterday, which that played out. We broke out, right? So now we're starting to look good on the intraday. On the five-day, not looking super great quite yet. In fact, we are seeing a bit of resistance right here, but at the same time, we are making higher lows, right? Let me show you guys this. So we have higher lows being made, but we also have these lower highs. So in other words, we have a wedge here on this five-day, five-minute, which if I draw out all these you guys uh, can see. So ideally for the bulls in the short term, SoFi needs to break above um, 750, 775, like we've been covering here on the channel uh, for quite some time. And if I pull up these other time frames, let me show you maybe um, this 10 day, you guys can see that wedge pretty much clear as day. You guys see that. And if I pull up this 20 day chart, let me show you this, uh-oh, the inverse head and shoulders is still intact, right? And not uh-oh as that's bad or anything, but it looks like we're trying to break out. Again, now we're in the green. Earlier, we were even more in the green on SoFi, and the fact that the markets are flat, it's not helping SoFi's case here uh, for a breakout, at least for today. Uh, but it's still intact. It's still intact. That inverse head and shoulders 
and we're just going to have to really start pushing uh, that mid seven mark, which who knows, man, mid high sevens, eight dollars. That's got to break. And if so, I'm telling you guys, I'm still sticking to this in the short term. If this stays intact, we could be seeing a big breakout. Uh, but we're just not getting that on the volume or we're not getting a bunch of volume, at least today and yesterday quite yet, um, or at least today quite yet. Uh, but, you know, we're going to have to wait for it. We're going to have to wait for it and be patient. I'm going to set my alerts. And mind you, it's not guaranteed to play out. This could easily turn to the downside. And if we start taking 7 bucks out again, 680 yeah, we're going to have to watch out for maybe some, uh, you know, more lows. But as of now, as of this video, we still have that inverse head and shoulders intact. And I'm watching that very closely um, here in the short term. So before we break down some other stocks, guys, don't forget to get your free stocks from Moomoo up to 15 stocks, each up to $2,000. Just use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo or check out the QR code right here. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least a hundred bucks, you get five stocks and fund it with at least a thousand dollars. You get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks, each up to two thousand dollars and this promo is about to run now in a couple of days guys so get on it use that link down below and with that being said cheers let's continue on here as a couple of stocks well more than just a couple are moving pretty nicely so nicola i know this is very risky i would never invest in it and to be honest even trading it is a little too risky for me but either way this one's now back over a dollar per share. I'm not sure what's going on under the hood guys uh, with the company here, but clearly something has happened to, you know, to make the stock almost double in the past couple of weeks. Essentially in the past two weeks, we're up from 58 cents to now over a dollar earlier in the day. It looks like we were at a dollar eight cents on Nikola, so not sure what's going on there. It looks like Nikola unveils first commercial hydrogen fueling station in Alberta near Blackjack's Roadhouse. Okay, um, interesting there. I have to do some more, uh, you know, digging into that. But Nikola is starting to make a move here. It looks like Coinbase. What else is new? Um, this one's trying to break out yet again. Looks like we're up about 4% on the day. Uh, looks like we're still consolidating arguably above um, this 50 moving average on the four hour chart. But hey, if we start pushing, man, 280, 285, maybe even higher, uh, could be around the corner, that, uh, you know, around the corner there for Coinbase. Let me see what else is moving here, guys. Roblox is looking um, interesting today, up around 2%. Eh, still kind of in a downtrend, though. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see how that plays out. AMD, uh-oh, AMD, man. This thing really got beaten up. So this could be a continuation play, in my opinion. You guys can see, uh, you know, we're clearly down about, what, 45 bucks from the recent high. And mind you, we called that breakout, did we not? Not to toot my own horn, uh, but we called that out. And now we're pretty much very oversold, in my opinion. We also have arguably a bullish divergence um, in play here. So AMD, guys, for me, is at the top of the watch list here moving forward over the next couple of days. And uh, if I were you, I would put it on the watch list as well. I'm not telling you to go buy it or do anything crazy like that, but... I would watch it. Same with NVIDIA, as NVIDIA today is looking interesting, pretty decent, up around 0.4%. Looks like we are getting a bit of consolidation at that $900 level. Let's see if it lasts. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe as we are trying to get to 50,000 subs this year. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you guys later.